it. Coming closer and getting gotcha. Tell me when we're live. Hello world. How are we? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Crafty Conversations it's, is back. It's Monday. It's 5.30, so you already know what time it is. We are so happy to be back this week. We have so many fun, crafty conversations to have with our people. That's you. Thank you for being a part of our community. What is Crafty Conversations? It's the number one place online to talk all things creative, all things crafty, and all things events. How have you guys been? My name is Crystal, if we haven't met. I am the owner, creative director, and principal event designer of Poppin' Parties, where every day is a party. And we have just been so busy lately. What about you guys? It's coming into the season where it gets a little bit hot outside, and um, people are starting to book those events, right? What kind of events are you guys um doing, creating, getting booked for, please let us know in the comments. Um, if you don't know who Poppin' Parties is, we are an event planning agency located in the greater Houston, Texas area. And we do all types of events. We do corporate events. We do birthdays, milestones, weddings, all of that. And it just brings me so much joy to get to know a lot of you. We've gotten to know a lot of people over these past few weeks since we've started this. And there's so many more exciting, exciting things to come. And so what's behind me? Let's look at what's behind me. Ray, give him a nice little pan mm -hmm. of this whole situation, okay? And this situation is just a little something something, okay? Just a little something that we actually recently did for a client of ours. And if you've been following us, we had a 007 um, themed event. It was an award ceremony that we did for a client. And um, that came out real, real fun. And so since we already sort of had the setup, I was like, let's get on live. Let's talk to the people and let's show them how we created this. And obviously, like, there's so many different things you could do with a beautifully draped backdrop. Um, what are some of the things that we do for it? We definitely use it in different focal points of events. Like for this particular event, it was the backdrop to the main um, area where the awards were presented, where speeches were being made. You could make this um, a beautiful backdrop of a, a, of a gorgeous dessert table. Um, you could make it a backdrop that's specifically for taking pictures and a photo backdrop moment for your clients or your family. Um, you could do something to just you could always do nice draping to just spruce a room up, a room that doesn't really look like anything. Draping is a great way to transform the room. And let me know, like, how do you guys use draping? Like, what do you guys do with it? And it's fairly simple. It's just about having the right supplies and the right things with you to be able to make this happen. And guess what? all of the material that we used for this draping we got off of Amazon. And we're gonna share that information so you guys can do and make this on your own. Do we have a question? Um, just some, some comments. Uh, Jordan T.Y. says, love you guys. And Kevin Gaskin says, he sends a couple ways. Jordan, Kevin, thank you for coming back. Y'all are clutch. We really, really appreciate it. And we love, love, love your feedback. Okay, so who did this amazing, just, just created just this amazing piece of drapery? Angie, she's over there acting like she's too busy to talk to us, y'all. <laughs> Get over here. Get over here and say hi to the people. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Angie, you did your thing on this. Oh, and yeah. it was pretty easy to do, huh? 
yeah it's just i mean it's just common sense i guess <laughs> she's, she, you guys she says common sense okay <laughs> okay no that's talent girl it's it's talent. it's talent and it takes a creative touch to be able to like pull it together and all of that but but aren't we we're, we're not doing that yet let's pull this out you gotta stay tuned for the draping okay stay tuned we're gonna show you it's and by the way bring that over here angie so they can see what you're doing um by the way wednesday we're gonna have a full tutorial on our youtube page like we're gonna do it today we're gonna sort of do a quick version of it but on youtube on wednesday we are premiering a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to drape and how to how to recreate this look that's why you want to follow us on youtube right yes Follow us, comment if you have any suggestions, any anything. Yes. Just let us know. Let us know. And that is a, a, a great place where we put out specific content, especially informative content that you want to know. So click like, subscribe, our YouTube page. So, um, and like I said, Wednesday, we're going to premiere how to recreate this backdrop a step by step. But today... We're going to give you some good, great information as well. And so one thing we wanted to make today, which isn't going to take long, right, Angie? I hope not. Nope. Okay. She says she hopes not. <laughs> um, is creating one of these feather centerpieces um, that you could use for your Great Gatsby event. You could use for if you're doing like a 1920s theme, a Roaring, the uh, roaring 20s theme. Um, get into how we make this happen angie okay so yes so we're gonna create um with the feathers um i'm gonna show you how to um do it step by step and um if you have any questions anything let me know so first um we're gonna do i we had a, a big piece because um, I think on the last event we have like we had like several ones. So we actually um, got the big one and then I just cut it around with that um, with a knife. <laughs> this is old fashioned. Do you have the bigger piece so no, we can show them? I finish it. Okay. So let me explain what she means. What she means is that we had, what do you call this again? Flower. Let us Flower know. Foam. Okay, thank yeah. you. I was gonna say comment <laughs> section, let us know. Flower foam, right? You get it from Michaels, you get it from Hobby Lobby, you get it from Amazon. Like I said, we're gonna link all that we use as well. Now, this came as a big block. So what she's saying is, is she cut it to size. She cut it to size so that it would fit nicely, nicely as a base. And yeah. And then, uh, of course, you want to glue it, hot glue it, um, because then your feathers are going to be all over the place. I mean, your whole thing is going to be all over the place if you don't, you know, uh, if you don't, um, you know. Hold it down. Hold glue it, it down with the glue it. So. Um, this is our handy dandy glue gun. Yes. <laughs> And I, I did already like kind of, I don't, I, I didn't go to the bottom um, just because the bottom is not like all the way down. Um, so it, there's no point, right? So what I did, I just did it on the sides. If you see the glue right there uh, and then just press down, make sure you put it like to hold it like really good because otherwise, I'm telling you, the bot, this is gonna be with the feathers like dropping everywhere. So, okay, okay. So hold it. And you can turn, turn it off. Okay, so just wait a little bit for to the glue to, you know, and you see it's kind of stiff. Then, after I press and I see that it's already now be careful with you um, with the hot glue because it's gonna be 
because it's like sometimes you know I burn my myself but um, it's it's not too bad where are your feathers at right there so uh, yeah so I'm gonna grab my feathers sorry mm -hmm. and um, these feathers are like big so I really like them because you can you can use um, see they're like I think we said what was okay this? so when you buy the feathers you essentially buy them um, in inches and so they'll typically come like 8 to 12 inches 12 to 16 okay. inches 16 to 20 inches these are 12 to 16 inch feathers okay so Okay, go ahead. Uh, question from Valentina. Have you guys done a rose theme party or Beauty and the Beast, stuff like that? Ooh, yes. And so actually, okay, yes, meaning we want to. <laughs> no, meaning we haven't done Beauty and the Beast in particular. Um, that would be, I think somebody asked us about that a couple weeks ago. A couple of weeks, yeah. Right. And so that would be something that would be super, super fun to do. We love like ethereal and um, fairy tale like uh, themes. And so I'm sure we would kill that theme. And that would be like so, so, so fun to do. But you said like a rose theme? Rose theme party. Well, we, we have this event that we do called Rose All Day. And Rose All Day is where we do rose gold themed decor. And then we do rose, a rose bar a froze bar and it's about froze time okay because it's getting to be summer here soon and then we do rose pairings with the rose wine bar and so that is like a gorgeous gorgeous event and our clients love especially our corporate clients they love that event and so we do a whole rose theme so that's super super fun and you could see she's getting her base together and you're gonna see how quick this comes together yeah so i'm getting the base and make sure you know uh, this is the um bottom the of the bottom feather. of the feather and this is the the, the top so you always want to put like bottom because essentially what you're trying to do and Ray, I'm gonna show them this finish one just so they can see, mm -hmm. is you wanna create this downward motion. You, th like, these feathers, we've had these feathers for a couple of years and as you get them, they, they sort of fall and um, they create this like, almost like weeping willow effect. That's why you wanna make sure, as you can see as she builds her base, that they point downward. That way, your whole design comes out the way that you want it to. I like black, by the way. She <laughs> likes black, and, and if you know Angie, you know, <laughs> listen, black yes. feathers are her thing. Yes. Okay, that's all I gotta yes. say. Yes. And here's the deal. We didn't, we, we wanted to use a bigger feather. That's why we use yeah. white today, but this in all black is gorgeous, right? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, the, oh I'm, I'm telling you, it's just <laughs> gorgeous. It is. We got, uh, it's it's a sweet occasion back with us. Hello, it's a sweet occasion. They were just making sure they didn't miss the draping tutorial. No, tell, draping is next. <laughs> we're almost done with this. Mm -hmm. Draping is next. And also remember, draping is going to be Wednesday. Full on tutorial on YouTube. Go to our YouTube. If y'all could pin our YouTube somehow in the chat so everybody could uh can get to that and sylvia can you start to remove the pedestals and we'll get to our draping section of the event uh valentina says of the event this is now an event the, yeah right of the event <laughs> <laughs> it's official oh my god valentina says thank you so much if i would do the party would you guys travel doesn't matter the cost i would love to do it wow <laughs> Wow, yes. Valentina, yes. First off, okay, sorry, Valentina, you made me think of Marissa. Is Marissa in the building? If so, Marissa, give us a shout out. But that's what I'm saying. Like, this has been so fun meeting everybody. And we would love to travel and, uh, and do 
an event. We love doing that. We travel all the time um, to all different places to do events. And I can already see that Beauty and the Beast thing. Oh, that would be like amazing with the bees. Ooh. Yes. Yes. A thousand percent. That would be exciting. So she's got her second layer. And like we said, it doesn't take long, right? How many layers do you do? So I on that one on the the one that you show, I did a little bit more layers. Um And that's what you're giving them today? Yeah. So um so I put like this one is only this two. two. Um but I can use three. I can do I can use but I'm gonna show you what um exactly um because when you see on the on the side make sure that it's not um no holes right no holes but also um you can also paint the color uh either white whatever color that you doing your feathers you can paint it so you don't have to worry about oh i can see the green and all that so, right uh, but also there's another um you know if you you cannot do it um that's what i'm doing what i'm doing with these because i don't know if you can uh, show them ray mm -hmm. um you see here and that's what i'm gonna do another layer in there are you doing so, it in between or on top in between so you're gonna come right here and do a layer yes. and stick it in uh-huh okay yeah like this smart see and that will cover so you know you can you can finish one one round you can finish the other one and then you go back and say oh, okay this is the you know this is the where the you need to fill in we need to fill in yeah and you can use the small um the small feathers also yeah to our black in. one oh to, to fill, fill in, in. okay yes. that makes sense yeah. And maybe if you're working like on a budget, if you're being like super budget conscious, I could see how you could fill in. Paint it. <laughs> yeah, painting. So you yeah, don't have to have as many love, excuse me, um, layers. And then uh, using smaller feathers strategically. But here at Poppin' Parties, we go all out. Okay? Oh, yeah. We're extra. And so. We so much extra. <laughs> we're, we're very extra. So. I'm always gonna say, go for it, right? Yes. Always, always, let's do this. <laughs> uh, Lisa Cardinal's back with us. Lisa, okay. I hope Nikki got it to you today, cause it's done. <laughs> Sin, you did the rock star, the rock star yes. ball. Yes, yeah. girl, it looks so good. Okay, <laughs> we're excited. But what's your question? She says, ooh, I love this. I got tons of these in my decoration boxes. Well, Lisa, let's pull them out and <laughs> let's oh use God, them. Use them. Use, use them. them. You know what? There is um, a popular lamp that I keep seeing. Um, I think I've seen it at Home Goods. Hello, hello. I think I've seen it at Home Goods, but. Um, it's a lamp that I keep seeing it on different like design things that looks exactly like this. Remember when we went to um, the house where we did the casino party? Oh yeah. And they had the feather lamp, yeah, the feather lamp and it had yeah. the gold. So now I don't know how to make this into a lamp, <laughs> but I'm sure somebody out there creative could figure, well, they already have figured it out. But point is, is maybe you have an area in your home where you know you could do something like this yeah feathers are i love feathers and you can do it um you can actually buy the the tree and then you just oh and your put, christmas tree and is yeah. that what you're saying no 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 oh <laughs> <laughs> a tree. but wait a feather christmas tree no. might be a well, great yeah, idea yeah that's a good that's idea too right can that's I something order, something order? No, uh, but but you you can't put ornaments on the feather part, but you could strategically sort of place it. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe it's just a feather tree and it's no ornaments. No, but the uh, the tree is just a tree, and then you can put, um, you know, around it, and then put the fe feathers like this. So you will have like a elegant feather tree, um, like the one we saw. I don't know that like I'm telling you I and you can you 
You can get the tree from outside, grow from your tree. <laughs> Wait, get the tree from outside? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what kind of tree? Like the, the, you know, the tree that is like like any tree. What, what kind of look are we talking here? <laughs> <laughs> outside tree. The outside <laughs> tree list. You know, you can create anything yeah. you want. Mm-hmm. You you're have right. to just be like, you're you know. right. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, decoration by D- Diana says, I love the design of the backdrop. Oh, decoration by Diana. I don't think we've, at least you've made a comment before. Welcome to Crafty Conversations. That is what we are going to be going over next is this um, design of the backdrop. So stay tuned. And we, Wednesday, we, are, we have a full on YouTube tutorial on how to create this design of the backdrop we're gonna go over it as well believe it or not all of our materials came from amazon and so um that is what we are gonna go over next is how angie did her thing on this backdrop diana asks where did you get the feathers okay so diana another man we're just putting all on game amazon we got the feathers from amazon i've had these feathers for two to three years right angie something like that and it's been a long time i mean this is an off-white and they do what we you know they last forever but it's about how you store your items that's what we've been talking about a lot is storage making sure that um what you store your things in have enough air enough circulation um you make sure that you're packing them correctly that way they give you longevity and you're able to build your inventory and um make more make more money per party and or just build your inventory so you have nice things that you can use time and time again uh from deb's she says, what are you ladies' names? Been following forever, but have no idea what you, what their names are. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Deb. Nice to meet you. My name is Crystal, and I am the owner of Poppin' Parties. And this is Angie. Angie, how long have you been working with Poppin' Parties? I lost count. <laughs> Probably like seven years. <laughs> seven years? Yeah. Something Almost like that. Like, there is a... Angie, Angelica, hi, everyone so that's Angie. I'm Crystal. There's been there's so many people at Poppin' Parties um, that have contributed to our success that have been here for years. And um, Angie is definitely a very important piece to this creative pie. Shout out to Sylvia. Sylvia, you want to say hi? Sure. I'll tell everybody hi. Sylvia, hi, she's everybody. been with us as Woo. well forever yeah, i've been like if angie's seven ever, i've been six exactly <laughs> yeah. and then um by the way you got ray behind the camera you got Amazing. cynthia over Ooh. here on yeah. social media you got nikki and amanda over there hiding in their offices <laughs> they don't want to be on camera right now and that's just part of our beautiful team okay okay man that was quick that was quick. Woo. <laughs> that was quick. Angie, you did it. I did it. You always do it, though. She Kevin does. said you are making, Angie, you are making the magic happen. Yeah, yeah. she yes. makes the magic happen, baby. <laughs> a thousand percent. And, okay, so how long did that take? And I like the shape of this one a little bit better. Yeah. Let's flop it out. Boring. You know how they do the before and after. <laughs> <laughs> and so, <laughs> this live version. That's the one that we like. But how long yeah. did that take, y'all? That did not take long at all. Um, there, and so that way at the event we just put it on the table, and there it is. And so you could do this, like we said, all black is our favorite. All black is just gorgeous, and it just, just that give you elegant, like yes. kind of like um, I don't know, it goes with the uh, with anything, and I think that's my favorite color so yes yes and then i would just suggest and this is just a personal suggestion i i can't stand it when you mix the feathers like i don't like that look when it's like when it's like the black and the white or the gold and the whatever go monochromatic it's just more elegant more nice in my opinion i would do a monochromatic feather piece but good job you killed that Woo-hoo. Did the comments like the first one more or the second one more? 
Okay, mm -hmm. so yeah, tell us in the comments. By yeah. the way, show them the first one again. By the way, <laughs> if you say number, okay, here's the deal. Chris said you better not be lying. And okay, be one. exactly. Would you go number one, or would you go number two, or should we show a less full one? Where's like one black. of those other? Oh, show. Let's show them the difference in a. This is the in ten to ass. twelve inch. <laughs> <laughs> in a half ass. <laughs> that was okay, half ass. That this, was sorry. There, there's something a little wrong with this bird. <laughs> yes. Okay. This is struggling a little it's bit. It's elegant. Let me tell you. Mm -hmm. But it's okay. A it, it, no, no, no. Just, it's been um. It's been um. It's been through it. No, <laughs> there, it's missing. It's missing some some it's, of them. It's okay? missing. But look, yeah, but this. Is an example of the eight to twelve inch feathers, okay? Yeah. Versus the ten to twelve inch feathers. <laughs> so, oh god. You're funny. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is, the, this is just like the chicken, you know, in my in in my rancho, and my um, uh, Mexico, yeah. when the <laughs> when the chicken this. was fighting and got. Oh no feathers so yeah <laughs> this i think it's by shara she said the one is that one is shedding yeah definitely <laughs> shedding it. definitely shedding <laughs> oh, don't be no no, no. no. I, it's, it's not fixed no. yet she, we, it's because, you said it's been done dragged through the mud no <laughs> this is elegant but right now it's sorry so, so, one eye closed sweet occasion, sweet occasion said that one has a sunroof <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. Okay. So next time you need to buy me but. the big ones because <laughs> no. black is my thing. No, no, listen, you, I think it's just like you said the way they were put in. This one is a little lopsided. Like oh, you said, no sunroof. No, listen, because we were in like Bro. we were able to wait when we were doing it. Yes, this and is I after like, the event. This is after, before nine. the event. After yeah. the event, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Big difference, was, right? Yes. Yeah. Decoration I, by Diana says both are beautiful. Oh, thank you, Diana. Thank, thank, thank you. Wait a wait a sum it up. There we <laughs> <Thank> go. <you. laughs> okay, so we are clearing the space because in Ray, if you could mm -hmm. give them a sweeping shot. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> let's move this, you guys. Of um this beautiful mm -hmm. backdrop. Okay that Angie made. Wow. Wow. Now, when you wow. in front of it and you like, like mm -hmm. out, that will like, I don't know. It's just gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. It is absolutely gorgeous. And so what I want to do before you break, what we're going to do is sort of take it apart so you could see how we put it together. So she'll, she'll, she'll go ahead and put it together, but let's sort of run down the list of what we used to make it. So this spans 20 feet, okay? So we have four eight by 10 pipe and drape bases. I got those on Amazon too, okay? So you've got four eight by 10 pipe and drape bases. Then we have 20 of these red polyester um they're a great polyester it's a wrinkle free okay um what do you call this uh curtain not a curtain but like a um drape okay yeah, it's, like, drape. Yeah. it's a drape right and so 20 of these four pipe and drape bases and then we have some sandbags that are holding it down and that's literally it we've got this beautiful brooch and that is what you're gonna need to create this look so if you come over here you can see how we have the two pipe and drapes come on this side so they could see how they're stacked you see how the pipe and drape bases are stacked right on top of each other and they're stacked right on top of each other so you can have two layers of the look so we've got like a layer going on in the back and then she's got her design that she created in the front. And you could see how you could get super creative with your design. So Angie, go ahead and take over 
and explain how you made this happen. Okay, so. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. So, there's two piping trays. One in behind and one in the front. So, on the beginning, we were, like, kind of, like, I was, like, they, this one was, like, kind of far. So, that's why uh, I decided to put it, like, on top of each other so they can, you know, um, look. Because I was, like, this looks. And you can always do this also. Um, I didn't, I didn't want to do it. But, you know, you because it's not long enough. But if I had more, um, this a little bit longer. Um, but You could have okay. brought it in yeah, for another panel. Yeah, I couldn't. Do and I just want to shot out these drapes. Oh because way. typically, when we first started, we used chiffon. And chiffon, um, obviously, you want to use, you like, we like chiffon because of the way that it billows and the way that it drapes, simply put. But chiffon is very sheer. Mm -hmm. So with chiffon, you need a, like a lot of layers of chiffon. And so this, this material is like the perfect mix. It's yeah. lightweight. It's not completely see-through. Now, if the sunlight was behind us, you would be able to see through it, which is another reason why it's double layered, okay? But the it, it feels like chiffon, right? Yeah. Now, Chiffon like and me, yeah. ooh, we had a, if you look at Y'all had an argument? No. Remember when we did that uh, church? Yes. That, oh. 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 oh, my church. goodness, you guys. <laughs> we did this installation. It was in a church. That was and it was, we needed a forklift because it was so high up. But it came out nice. No, it mm -hmm. can, no I'm not saying... That's, she just fought with the chiffon. That was sweat. Right. That was sweat. <laughs> You're right. That was sweat. That was, that was unbelievable that I couldn't even, I couldn't even believe that I did it. So, but you anyways. So, so anyway, so I don't know if you, you look um, like in top, I put it like in top, like cover it and it goes down. So you don't have so it doesn't it doesn't show your um, your pole, okay? Then um, should I take it out? Should I take it down? Yeah, you you could you could take it out. Now I want to. Can we give something. it a moment though? Give it a moment, you, okay. Angie. You did this, girl. I know. You did this. Like she, let's just let's just talk about Angie for a hot second. This woman just like comes up with stuff like on the spot and her favorite saying is leave me alone <laughs> yeah let, just let me do it let me just leave me alone yeah and and what were you thinking when you did this like what was your thoughts I, okay so when my mind goes like and so pretty like you know Gorgeous. i i just don't because i was trying to think okay because i didn't want to do the same uh look that we uh that they did and the um at the, at the event, event right mm -hmm. so i wanted to do something different you know because i always want to do something different yes. I always <laughs> because i'm different <laughs> i like to do things that and, and listen this i did it this is my first time doing this type of design. yes uh, how do you say it design, design yeah. that mm -hmm. design this On is my spot. first time did the design um be, i've been doing the draping but this is the one that um right material yep yes right material. material um i i still do it but sometimes you know i feel like it's uh, it needs to be like the way i want it you yes know? but it came out right when I went and look at it, because I, I didn't I didn't look at it from here. Right. When I went, oh, I was like, oh, you said you I, surprised yourself. Yes, because you you see something that um, sometimes I amaze myself because I was like, oh, I did this. <laughs> but okay, you did it. Yeah. So <laughs> she challenges herself. Yes. Yeah. So uh, from Tiff B underscore B three. 
Hello, Crystal and Angie. I hope you're having a good afternoon or morning. I was wondering if you guys travel outside the U.S. I would love to have you, and if if we have to pay, we will. Wait, if we have to, we will pay for your hotel. Hey, listen, Tiff. Let's go. <laughs> Tiffy, our bags are packed. <laughs> just, just put in, put in the ticket information. We travel, and we love to travel, and we love to create. So, and we would yep. love to meet you. And yes. so, and I'm sure we would create magic, right? Of course. A thousand percent. <laughs> we love that. You haven't seen nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen nothing because when we have, there's when crappy, we get there's crappy our combo head, at night. <laughs> yeah. It just, it, you know, it's, well, it, what, what I think is important to state is this is off the cuff, right? Mm-hmm. right. Meaning, and, and I think it's important that people understand we are literally an event planning agency and like we have tons of events and we take the time out to do this to just share with everybody else. So it's like, um, can you imagine just the, like we were saying with the carnival, like what, the design we created for yeah. that or the, the cloud nine bit bridal shower. How pretty was that? Yeah, that was pretty amazing. I'm sort of obsessed with like monochromatic things and looks and this was like an all white situation and you can imagine just the all white chiffon and the draping that was super pretty but the people want to know how to do this okay. so how do we do this I just love how this came together okay so let me take it down oh wait he needs to come in close you want to get so, it taken yeah. down too yeah. yeah so they can see what's happening Okay, so this is, um, you know, you can find it. Where did you got this? Um, oh, you know where I got these? E favor mark. Okay. Th- these were brooches for um, a princess tablecloth sort of situation, which we we use it for all kinds of things. And by the way, you could just use any brooch, right? Like, yeah, you can. Use it's any. just a pretty brooch, so. And and quick, you can take these off, and you can do like a ring, and put your nap- napkins and your table. Oh yeah yeah yeah! This would be a gorgeous napkin ring on top of a really pretty tablescape. Okay, so of course. Your favorite. Of course, my. So let's do this. Probably I'm gonna need um, a scissors. Okay, can we get scissors? Sylvie, so can you give me scissors? Yeah, scissors, so because this is gonna be. Okay, so what I did, um, I guess I have to show you, right? Because, mm-hmm. yeah, okay. There is our handy dandy <laughs> balloon tie. Balloon ties, <laughs> people look. We use them I for everything. It. We. Do you want a box cutter? You want a box cutter, Angie? No. Scissors. Bus okay, cutter no, is scissors. dangerous. Well, give me. <laughs> Don't use it. There we go. Okay. Is that a drain? Okay. So, see, I'm gonna I'm gonna need um oh, here balloon you go. tights. No balloon tights. Okay, now we Sorry. need balloon tights. Okay. So. Balloon tight, right? You want them already tied? No. Or, okay. So I'm gonna let it go. Okay. So let's step back. Let let it go and let them see it. Okay. Okay. So as you guys can see, like we've already explained, two sets of eight by ten drapes. Okay. So we've got um. So these drapes are ten foot drapes. So if you are wanting to do a design with your drape, get it longer than your piping drape. That way you can swag and sway. And so um, these are 10 feet, uh, 10 feet drapes. Yes. Okay. And um, just want to point something out. Um, these, um, you can use I use only, um, if you see those, these two, I put them in one paw. But sometimes, you know, they do like 
double, which is one, two, one, two, which is four. But I, I only use 